family welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back today's video is going to be all about feminine hygiene i'm going to be telling you my 10 serious hacks that is not only going to boost your feminine hygiene regimen but they're also going to boost your confidence so if you want to hear what these 10 hacks are then please continue to watch hi family welcome back for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mercy. I am a RNBSN and on this channel, I talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty, natural hair, feminine hygiene. I do a little bit of home decor, clean with me, and I just do a little bit of everything. So if you would like to join the family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification so you never miss another video. Today's video is sponsored by Marilax. You all know that I talk a lot about not liking water as much as I should. The problem with that is when you are dehydrated, you can get constipated. This is something that I've been dealing a lot with for the past few days now, especially with everything I have going on in my personal life. And I have been feeling super stressed with everything. The best way that I can describe this feeling is stressipated. <laughs> But on a serious note, with occasional constipation now a thing, one product that I have started using recently is Marilox. This is the number one doctor and gastroenterologist over-the-counter laxative brand. This laxative works with the water in your body to unblock your gut. So the way Marilox works is it attracts water to your stool to soften it and increase the number of bowel movements you have. To put it simply, Marilax just makes your bowel movement experiences easier. And remember family, Marilax is only used occasionally. This is not an everyday thing. And the great thing is, it's not going to cause gas, bloating, cramping, or sudden urgency. Please remember to always read and follow the descriptions on the label for any over-the-counter drugs. As always, I'm going to leave all the info on Marilox in my description box down below, so don't forget to check it out. Alright family, let's get back to the video. So summer is here, it's about to get super hot and our feminine hygiene concerns are going to go through the roof. But don't you worry because I got you. Not everything in this video is going to relate to everybody. Whatever your case is, I promise you that you are going to walk away with something new from this video. Do not skip through the video, make sure to watch till the end. With that said, let's get to number one. Number one is use wipes whenever you use the bathroom. So whether it's for number one or number two, use wipes. Wipes are better and they're gonna clean you a little bit better than a dry paper towel. The next best thing is to either wash yourself when you use the bathroom or use wipes. Dry paper towels are not going to cut it, especially for those people who are prone to, you know, a strong odor coming from down there. I suggest that you either wash when you use the bathroom or use wipes. You can get some wipes from the Dollar Tree. You can get it from your local beauty um, supply stores. You can get it from your local drug stores. So these, for example, these I got from my local Walmart. And these were only $2, I think, two or $3. So they're not that expensive. And there are 30 wipes in here. So these are what they look like. They're nice little wipes and they're also scented. But the thing to watch out for with these is not all of them are flushable. So make sure you look at the package and make sure it says flushable. These ones are not. So please, please pay attention to the label. Number two, once again, it is summertime. It's gonna get hot, it's gonna get sticky and we're gonna sweat and smell not so pleasant. So my suggestion is to take a shower twice a day. Again, especially if you're prone to a certain smell, I suggest taking two showers or baths every single day. Now this is already the norm for some people, but some people need to get on the bus and ride with us because summertime, like I said, it gets really hot, especially if you have to go to work, go to school, or go anywhere. One of the best and quickest way to get rid of body odor is to jump in the bath or jump in the shower there is no other way around it and doing it twice a day is going to completely assure that you are smelling fresh every single time number three is brush your teeth 
twice a day. Again, especially for some people who have breath problems, the best way to get rid of that and to practice very good oral hygiene is to brush at least twice a day. Sometimes people do it even three times a day. So they'll do it in the morning, they'll do it after they eat, maybe lunch or dinner, and they'll also do it before they go to bed. This is going to help get rid of the plaques in your mouth, it's going to get rid of the bad odor on your tongue, and it's also going to keep your mouth feeling fresh and clean. The fourth hack I'm going to talk about is gut health. For me personally, I'm having some serious issues with this right now. Because I'm in transition, I'm always moving around, I'm always like on the run, my diet has taken I want to say a backseat to everything else. So I just grab and go. And that is the worst thing you can do. So some ways to improve your gut health is to not only eat healthy, but also increase your fluid intake, take some probiotics, and also prevent constipation. That is where I am right now. So the one thing that I have found that helps me is Marilox. Marilox relieves occasional constipation. This is not to be taken every day or on a daily basis. It's only when you need it. I personally would say once or twice a week, but no more than three times a week. The next thing we're going to talk about is teeth whitening. A lot of you ask me how I keep my teeth so clean and so white all the time. My favorite, most inexpensive hack is to brush my teeth two or three times a day. That gets rid of all the gunk, all the plaque, and it also keeps your teeth nice and shiny and white. Another hack that is not so natural is to use baking soda, lemon, and a little bit of water. So you can grab a bowl, grab a teaspoon of baking soda, squeeze a little bit of lemon just to get it um, like a pasty, kind of like a toothpaste consistency, and then put it on your toothbrush and brush your teeth. This is something you do not need to be doing every single day. For this, I would do it either once or twice a week, no more than twice a week, because the more you mess with your teeth enamel, the more you're gonna completely erase it or make your teeth super sensitive, and that's gonna cause problems for you. When all else fails, you can use teeth whitening strips. These I like to use maybe once a month or every two months or every three months, especially when I go heavy on the coffee. You guys know that coffee, wine, and certain kind of foods will stain your teeth. So if you're gonna go for a wedding or a baby shower or you're gonna you know, travel out of town, you can try using strips to whiten your teeth. And most times you have to do it for seven days to get the best result. The next thing we're going to talk about is keeping the hairy areas that are not supposed to be hairy free of hair. Okay, I know that's confusing, but I'm talking about your face, your upper lip, your chin, your armpit, your lady parts, anywhere that does not need to have hair, especially in the summertime, you want to shave it off and keep it clean. Bacteria love, love, love heat and moisture. So whenever there is a confined, dark, moist area is going to start to smell. So your armpit, for example, is always like this and it's one of the hottest part of your body. And the best way to keep that area clean and smelling fresh is to shave it, wax it, or do whatever you can to get the hair out. Now, some people prefer to have hair down there and that's up to you. But I just know that hair in those areas absorb heat and moisture, which makes it smell. So grab your shaving stick. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Go to the Dollar Tree, grab one of the cheap ones that look like this. And I'm telling you when your face like all up here and here and here, all those places when they're nicely shaved, your makeup always, always comes out flawless. And if you don't wear makeup, your skin is going to look flawless. So yes, if you're not one of those people that I guess prefer to keep hair in those areas, then grab you something, shave it off or wax it off. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about are underwears. Make sure to always put on clean underwears. And I know this one sounds like it's a given, but not a lot of people understand this. So underwear means leggings. It means your tights. It means your spandex, it means your panties, your pantyhose, anything that's gonna touch and squeeze that area for a long amount of time is considered underwear because again, there's gonna be heat, there's gonna be a little bit of sweat, and there's gonna be moisture. And bacteria love, love that. If you're gonna wear leggings without underwear or even with underwears, 
please don't put on the same leggings again because it's going to smell. You might not smell it, but other people are gonna smell it. Same thing with tights. Again, it's gonna touch and squeeze that area, so if you wear it one time, you need to wash it before you put it back on. Same things with your spandex, same things with your pantyhose, or same things with certain types of jeans. So it doesn't just stop at underwears. And like I said, if it's gonna touch, squeeze and stay in that area for a while it is considered underwear and it needs to be washed or cleaned before you can reuse or re-wear them the worst thing you want to do is be that one person that sits amongst everyone else and smells funny don't do that the next thing we're going to talk about are deodorants a lot of people once again think that you know taking a nice shower or doing a bird bath or whatever it's called is going to keep you clean no if you are a human over the age of 10 you need deodorant again some people do not believe in deodorants so whether you're using body oils or anything to get rid of that odor you have to you have to use something taking a nice shower or bath is not going to do it you have to put something on to conceal that um odor because once you start sweating or if you're wearing something that's gonna you know keep your arm like that or any heat or sweat in that area is going to cause bacteria is going to cause odors and you don't want that so always always remember to put on deodorant it can be the spray on one it can be the roll on one it can be body walls you can even use lime or lemon just take your lime cut it into two squeeze it to get the juice up there and rub it under there the next thing we're going to talk about are your hair skin and nails being a female is one of the hardest things that anyone can do in their lives we have a lot a lot of work to do and unfortunately it is a continuous thing that we have to do every single day day in and day out right so we cannot do one and neglect the other we have to take care of everything so if you're a natural girl like myself have a hair care routine that works for you whether it's once a week once every two weeks once a month whatever works for you you have to do something with your hair if you're not a natural girl and you like to do braids or weaves and whatever keep your hair nice neat and smelling fresh when it comes to your nails make sure your nails are nice and clean so whether you're doing them at home doing them yourself going to the salon make sure your nails is not like jagged and uneven and nasty looking make sure you don't have dirt in your nails make sure your nail polish is not chipped off or make sure your nose is not super long and curly or just any of the fancy things that people do out there you can either get it a little bit longer or you can do your own nails or you can get it short or get acrylic. Whatever you do, make sure your nose is nice, neat, and presentable. And then when it comes to your skin, make sure you have a skincare routine. So make sure you have a very, very nice moisturizing lotion, especially if you have dry skin. And then for your face, make sure you have a skincare routine that works for you. So whether it's your regular soap, whether it's some kind of acne treatment or face mask or whatever it is, have a routine that works for you because again all of this work together you cannot you know do one and leave the other so hair skin and nails very important make sure you have a routine for all three number 10 is one of my favorite it's not the most important but it's one of my favorite and this one again is going to sound crazy but a lot of people don't know this when taking a shower or a bath don't just you know wash your skin wash your hands wash your feet you have to pay special attention to your private so grab a washcloth put soap on it and intentionally wash your private area put the washcloth on your fingers like that put the soap on it and wash those areas don't just take water and do like this and be done no that is how odors start especially again for people who are prone to certain odors you want to make sure to pay keen attention to those areas they are just as important as the rest of your body so a bonus one i want to talk about is flossing flossing is very important because it gets rid of the food and all the nasty stuff from between your teeth when you have meat particles or any kind of food particles sitting there you can brush as much as you want it's not going anywhere it's going to stay there the only way to get rid of it is to floss so you can either use the rope one you can use these kinds and these are pretty inexpensive you can get these at the dollar tree you can get them at your drugstore walmart walgreens anywhere and they come in a pretty big pack so you want to grab this 
put it in there go between your teeth try to get in those corner areas and try to get the food particles out that is one of the best way to also prevent bad breath all right family those are my 10 plus one feminine hygiene hacks and i encourage you guys to try them out i also encourage you guys to check out Marilax if you ever suffer from any kind of occasional constipation this right here is the go all right if you did like the video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up also, if you haven't already joined the family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you never miss another video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to check out the description box for all the info on Marilax. All right, family, thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! <laughs>